Hello, good day researchers. This is Ms. Long and welcome to Practical Research 1 with me. So for today, we will talk about chapter 2, which is presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data or data. And by now, you already have worked on your coding table and hopefully you're already done now with your coding table. Now, this time we are going to discuss on chapter 2. So the title again is Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data. This is where you present your data and give the analysis. At the same time, give your interpretation of that analysis. Now, this is the outline, no outline of your um, results or the findings. And this outline again came from very good, no? Gikan siya sa inyong coding table. Okay, so, um, that's the coding table and then it's arranged by SOP. Now, when you're already done, na na makita na nino, unsa yung mga major themes ng extract na to. When you go to chapter 2, inyuhan ng i, butang in an outline, no? So, in this example, this is a study on, um, investigate nila, no? Ang um, reasons nga nung academic achiever ang usa ka student. So, ang SOP1 nila, what are the factors of being an academic achiever? No? Number two, what are the challenges of being an academic achiever? And number three, what are the coping strategies of an academic achiever no, in response to the challenges? And so, kita mo na, daghan o na extract na major themes and sub-themes. Sa factors, no, unsay factors of being an academic achiever, the first major theme is um, academic performance. And under that are the sub-theme, academic excellence and class activeness. And then, sa second, the major theme is social influencers, no, um, as a factor of becoming an academic achiever. And then, uh, sub-themes are parental involvement and peer impact. Okay, so mo na siya ang mga factors. Duha ka factor, academic performance and uh, social influencers. Those are the two themes. For challenges of an academic achiever, ang first challenge kay academic concerns. No, This is a major theme. Under that, kay academic overload and learning difficulties. And another challenge kay expectations and pressure. No? And sub-themes kay high academic expectations and self-pressure ang sub-theme ana. Okay? So, mode na siya ang duha ka-challenges of an academic achiever, um, academic concerns, major theme, and another major theme kay expectations and pressure. The last SOP, what are the coping strategies of an academic achiever? So, na ay duha ka-major theme which is proper time management and peer support. So, under sa Major theme of uh, proper time management, na uh, prioritization and strategic studying. And then under peer support would be um, teamwork. Okay? So, and then, manan siya sa obos, the researchers were able to extract a total of six themes from the data obtained. The themes for the reasons and factors, one, two, and for challenges, na and lastly, for coping, each theme is supported by one to two sub-themes, which is evident in the 10 informants of the study. So, ang ilaha is 10 ang ilahang interview, no? In order to reach data saturation. And then, butang tayo presentation of themes. And then, first, SOP kay factors. So, ibutang, no? First, academic performance. And then, sa obos, ana. Okay, so this is how you present it to researchers, ha? Academic performance, inyuhan nang i-define. So, kana, definition of academic performance. Sige, ito na siyang i-discuss one by one para you will um, know. So, um, the uh, definition of the theme. Okay? So, ito na na siyang i mutang din ha. Ito na i-red. Okay, so definition of the theme. Okay, so yun academic performance is the measurement of students' overall performance where students perform various educational activities. And then, na mo'y citation. Sparks 1999 showed that the school's environment and teachers' expectations from the students also have strong influence on students' performance. 
case show it's supported by a citation okay um supported by a citation from your relate, related literature um, and studies literature studies and from okay um the citation on any researchers could come from eh, sorted a supported by a citation from one of the following okay, one of the following Okay, we read the literature. So, gikan siya. Pwede siya gikan sa inyohang related literature. Or, pwede siya gikan sa inyohang your related studies. Or, pwede siya gikan sa inyong um, theoretical background. At mga theories, ganit ninyo mag-explain to support your study. So, Okay, again, this is the theme, academic performance, and then academic performance is the measurement, so you define uh, the theme, so in that case, you define the academic performance, and then, you decide that the spark plus 19 showed that so gikan is related literature. Nila. Okay, so it can be citation, again, the citation uh, could come from literature, studies, in your related studies, or in your theories sa inyong theoretical background. Okay? So, same goes na siya hantod mahuman ang kaning entire chapter 2. Academic excellence is the ability to perform and attain grades. Again, unsa ni siya, gi-define unsa na siya ang academic excellence. And then, student persistence is a prominent measure of gi-site nila si Pinta of 1994. So, uh, again, one, no, nga, one to two sentences for the definition of that theme, okay? And then, it's followed by a citation, gikan sa inyong related literature or related studies or gikan sa inyong related, uh, theoretical background. And then, if you've noticed, this is the major theme, right? Academic performance. And under sa major theme, kaya ang sub-theme, ng academic excellence. So, gidefine ang academic excellence and then, nag-cite da yun, no? So, team talk 1994 ang gisite. And then, imuha da yun na siyang suportaan ug um, actual nga gisulti sa inyuhang in four months. Okay? So, um, gibutang din hino, as one of the informants said, ang grado pinakaun na, ang grado kay kanang grades, kay maom dyan na um, magpasod na ako sa academic, na mahi mo na akong achiever. If diba, di ba, kamay ka grad of course, hindi ko kayo achieve. Grad do para nako. Mo na yung reason nga ni, um, mo, mo ng academic achiever siya. Okay? So, niya, naib kang lines, yun sa nang line number. And then, if you've noticed, di italics siya because it's in Bisaya, no? Kay ang entire thesis ninyo, no? Kay English, but since Bisaya man ni siya, you italics, uh, imo na siyang i-italics. And then, since nagbutang na mo din ha, o um, quote, no, from your merged transcript, okay, gisulti mo na sa inyong hang informant, okay, iba na, matanag ko, si reason ni mo nga, academic achiever ka, so, usa sa reasons kay academic excellence ti, and then, imong gibutang ang citation, mo siyang gi-quote, gikan sa merged transcript ninyo. And then, sa obos, kay imuha siyang hatagan o what, this is the interpretation, kay dili dapit na analysis man tano, and then, Di ba, ang title sa ito ang um, chapter 2 kay Presentation Analysis and Interpretation. Ang presentation, kani, gipresent ni mo ang iyang outline, analysis, katong part nga nagbutang um, taani, no? Um, kani siya, this is the analysis na part, kana siya. Ano sa interpretation di ay? So, the interpretation would be, giunsa ni mo pag-interpret ang iyang isulti. So, in this case, ang interpretation kay naa siya sa, it's followed, No? Um, follow siya after sa imuhang um, kanang actual nga naa sa merged transcript gisulti sa informant. So, akong ibasa no? As the respondent, as the respondent stated above, high grades are significant. 
before it will make one an academic achiever. So, kanisha, kinsa man yung interpretation, of course, this is the interpretation of the researcher. No, kay, nangunta na kung kaunsa na yung reason ni mo nga academic achiever ka. So, imuha siya ang interpret as the responded stated above, high grades are significant for it will make one an academic achiever. So, usa yung di ay nga makapahimo nga academic achiever sa usa ka student kay, of course, ang grado. Okay, so, dinha dapita is the interpretation of the researcher. Um, so, ito na siyang bold and then let's make it color. So, I need it to color. Okay, blue. And then, muna siya interpretation in your researchers. And then, if makabantay mo na si Manson of 2016, Ang inyong interpretation, pwede na siya no one, two or three sentences depende niyo sa inyong pag-interpret ang iyang gisulti. It's followed by a koan kanang citation na sad. So um no, I'll just copy the one and insert shape. No. Let's take it. So ingana ra siya ang style no and sa ka ng ato ang chapter 2 researchers. <clears throat> so, until mahuman ang chapter 2, ingun ana, rakid siya. So, again, no, a letter B, class activeness. Definition, class activeness is where students actively take part in the school activity, particularly in academic subjects or in any extracurricular curricular activities. No, i-define na nimo unsan ang class activeness. Pwede na siyang ang definition, inyuha magkan. No, like, ikay mo define unsan ang class activeness, so, uh, followed by a citation. Kaya ang citation, makapastrengthen mong good na siya sa definition. Kaya awa ha, for example, ako ang researcher niya, ako ni-define niya, ang class activeness is where students actively take part, no? In the school activities, in academic subjects. Yeah. In the study conducted by Abdul et al., it can be concluded that students engage in classes through activities such as listening, thinking, or the use of gestures. So, nagsup ang kanimang kong second na koan would be a support, no? So that's why you have to have a citation because it will be, uh, it will strengthen your definition. No, as one of the informants said, kanang ko anra sa tinud anay lang kay di ko maayo sa mga sa di ko ay ko maayo sa mga imutukan ko an pero sa mga performance gali or sa mga activities kay arak makaingon mauguro na achiever ko. So mo may reason that that person became an achiever because um. Not so much of the grades, but because very active siya sa participation sa iyahang um, activities, no? Whether that is academic subjects and also extracurricular curricular activities. Manda ko yung grado. So, muna sa naibutang, as the informant stated above, she's not that good when it comes to mental skills. Okay? So, imo na siyang interpret ang kana. Yeah, since babae mo na siyang informant, so she gin na, no? As the informant stated above, she's not that good when it comes to mental skills but excels more on activities and exact curricular performance. Again, unsa na siya? This is your, very good, that is your interpretation sa ihang gisulti. And then, sa ubos is support na yun ni mo ang um, citation gikan sa imong related literature or gikan sa imong related studies or also pwede siya gikan sa inyong theories. Students' academic performance depends on factors such as learning skills, home environment, academic skills, and study habits. So, no, uh, according to Shahzadi Shah and Ahmad, nga, ang academic performance sa studyante, daghan day siya o factors, dili lang kay siya grado-grado. So, makasupport the idea ani. Uh, okay? So, that's how you are going to do chapter 2. And if makabantay mo researchers, okay, so second factor is social influencers. And then, kani kay Kamuani, no? Social influencers could be found on any social media platform, also peers and family. I, inyuhan ng interpretation. One thing is for sure, they are the ones who influence students in any possible way. Okay? They also motivate students to study harder and improve self-confidence. Okay? Inyuhan na, ano? Inyuhan ng um, analysis and inyuhan ng um, pag-interpret kung sana ang social influencer nga team. Tapos ni, quote lang mo ni MacNeil of 2001, ni cite mo niya, okay? Kasi this is a um, citation nga makasupport sa inyuhang uh, sa inyuhang statement nire. Some studies point out that family commitment possibly affects academic academic achievement. No? So, maona na siya. Influencer siya. And then, letter E, par parental involvement. Maona siya. Under na siya sa social influencer nga theme. This is the sub 
team. Okay, so um, what happens in this researchers is that um, if nakabantay mo, okay, if this, if kuan gani major theme gani like kani major theme academic performance imo nag defend nag define na ka sa team and then na kay supporting statement wala kay yes wala ka nag quote og um, line gikan sa imuhang mga participants no sa major theme ingon ana ra gi define ra nimo ang theme and then gi suportahan nimo og citations diretso dayon ka sub theme sa sub theme na di ay very good sa sub theme na ka mag define maghatag og citation and then magbutang og actual nga mga answers from your informants okay and then um imuha yung interpretation ana and then ang um, citation gikan sa literature studies ba or sa theoretical background ninyo so ingon ana siya pag present sa chapter 2 nato okay presentation analysis and interpretation of data so Ingon ana ra i-define nyo ang team and then maka, after sa definition unsa na then putangan na to og citation no to support unsa na ang atong definition and then um sub team na dayon and then again i-define unsa na siya nga theme unsa na siya nga sub team unsa meaning ana and then pag cite na dayon ka og um uh, from your literature or studies or theoretical background to strengthen no to support your interpretation of that and then ang grado kay kon and then imo siyang i-interpret kung sa gipasabot niya ani nga statement after sa imo hang own interpretation to strengthen your own interpretation imo siyang i you have to back it up no with a solid nga literature gikan sa inyong related literature sa inyong related studies nga review or sa theoretical background and then that goes all throughout no tanawa no peer impact and challenges um it lang challenges um i think di kay katulo naman ni siya so wala siya na update so challenges of an academic achiever kay academic concerns academic concerns unsa na siya and then did there na say citation din ha no on say meaning and academic concerns and then um maura na siya major theme and sa sub theme na ka gi-define nimo unsa na siya and then na uh, citation mo suporta as one of the informants said and then it shows that di unsa imo ha nang gi-interpret ang gisulti sa informant during the pita and then imo ha siyang gisuportaan og citation ikan sa literature ninyo studies reviewed or sa inyo hang related sa inyong mga theories and then letter B sub team na sad sub team kay na sad kay quote and then ingon ana and then this is um major theme so sa major theme wala ra kay quote ikan sa inyo hang transcript so sub team na sad na sad kay quote ikan sa ilang line from the informants and ang um, inyong interpretation and then na citation so that's how your chapter 2 would look like so kung daghan mo og nakuha nga data fast as good na siya din hindi dapat all right so um that would be all for chapter 2 and then for our next discussion we will be talking on chapter 3 and review on the entire paper in preparation for oral defense see you researchers